Thanks for joining us for midday off the top this midday bond revoked. That is what a judge decided just a few hours ago for Cleotha Abstin, the man charged with murdering the beloved mother and teacher Eliza Fletcher. Our Lakita Johnson was inside of that courtroom this morning. She joins us live with more on what happened. Hey, Lakita. Good morning, Aaron. There's still a lot of questions that are in the air that just can't be answered right now, according to authorities, because this is an ongoing investigation. The case is still open, but here's what we do know. He was charged with first degree murder. Also, uh, Abson has requested that the judge uh, change his name from his last name from Abson to Henderson. Take a look at this video of him in that courtroom this morning. The judge revoked his $510,000 bond pending the request to revoke it and the fact that the judge needs to review more documents. There could be a hearing at a later date, but that's all again based upon the judge's decision. This isn't Henderson's first run in with the law. Back in 2000, he pled guilty to kidnapping a Memphis lawyer. That's why yesterday uh, during a press conference and today, District Attorney Steve Mulroy says they're making it their business to hold those who commit crimes more accountable. Take a listen. Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's easy to talk about things in 2020 hindsight. In this particular case, uh, clearly, he should not have been on the street. Our office actually opposed uh, parole at the time. Um, we now know in hindsight, you know, perhaps uh, the, the, the parole decision was um, a tragic one. We, we, we'll only be able to speculate as to what other thing he may have done had he served his full term. The judge also assigned uh, Henderson another attorney. He'll be back in court tomorrow at 9. We'll keep you guys updated with the more information that we receive. For now, live at 9.01, I'm Lakita Johnson. Back to you guys. Thank you for that update, Lakita. Well, we are learning more information about where police found Eliza Fletcher. It's on Monday. Searchers were out checking in a South Memphis area near a vacant home in the 1600 block of Victor Street. And that wasn't too far from where a witness saw Abston cleaning his SUV. You're looking at video from that search there now. They did notice some high grass near the home. Investigators say afterwards they also noticed car tracks in the driveway and the odor of decay. Around 5 that evening, that's when they found the body of a woman. Investigators also found a garbage bag with shorts matching what Fletcher was last seen wearing.